We want to begin with Luke, who just talked exclusively with the off-duty officer who helped save some of the victims of that fiery crash. Talk about in the right place at the right time, Luke. Absolutely, and it is quite the story. We're going to see it in just a second here, but let's show you what we are seeing here in Groton first. You can see the on-ramp 295 southbound closed tonight, and it will be for quite some time. In this new video we're just seeing now, you can see that heroic save happening. An off-duty New London police lieutenant and two other good Samaritans running to help the man and woman inside of that car. A car that the governor says had a tire blowout and hit a fuel tanker and that all caused this deadly crash and fiery mess. The intense flames actually melting part of this bridge causing some structural concerns. Now I talked to that new London police lieutenant, Lieutenant Cornelius Rogers, just about an hour ago. He says the other two good folks who helped him out deserve just as much credit because as he put it, instinct kicked in for all of them. As she was screaming hysterically that her, her father, her father, get my father. I literally looked at him. He wasn't talking at the time. He wasn't responsive. So I went to the other side of the driver's side where I saw uh, that he was entrapped. He was trapped on that side, so I couldn't get in. As I saw the flames getting closer to us, um, I decided that the best uh, course of action was to extract him from the vehicle. Those two people from inside the car are doing okay. Lieutenant Roger says he actually went to the hospital, hospital that is, to go check on them and visit with them tonight. Now, as far as what's next, the Department of Transportation is going to get up there onto the bridge and see how safe it is. They are inspecting it top to bottom. And speaking of the bottom half of that bridge, with some scary moments for some folks under it as the fire and debris falling caused some problems. That is where Matt McFarland picks up our team coverage tonight.